Hello and welcome to this beginner's tutorial on making a spoke in ServiceNow. A spoke is a scoped application containing Flow Designer content dedicated to a particular application or record type. Even though ServiceNow has a lot of out-of-the-box spokes ready to use, sometimes you might need to make your own. So in this video I just want to go through the very basics on setting one up and I'll make a part 2 later to focus on more advanced features. First allow me to introduce myself. My name is Anders Figenskau and I work as a principal architect in Soprasteria in Norway. If you need to get in touch with me you can slip me an email or through LinkedIn. The addresses are shown at the screen. So a spoke is a reusable element for use in a flow designer. It is an application with inputs and outputs and in between has steps with different actions. Creating a spoke means taking some input, creating actions and linking these together to produce an output. In the flow designer you then have this spoke optionally connected with other spokes to have your flow work. So in this tutorial we will just make the spoke with a simple action step. Let's begin. So the first thing you need to do to make a spoke is to create a scoped application. So let's get into studio. I'll just create one called Hello World Spoke. So by adding the name spoke at the end here, it will show up in the flow designer as a spoke. Just choose this one. So to start off you need to create an application file and you need to find the flow designer action. Just create one of those. Now this shows up as a pop-up so I need to just paste this into my browser window. You can see it. I'm just gonna call this my test action. I'm just gonna ignore everything else for now. So this is the action window. It has inputs and outputs and has steps in between. So let's first start out with defining one input. Let's call it your name. I'll keep it a string. You can see there's a lot of different types the service now provides. I'll get, go through some more of these in another video, I guess. Right, so I have your name as a variable to use in my step. ServiceNow provides a lot of out of the box steps, both in the ServiceNow data uh, for updating records, creating records, that type. And you also have these utilities and integrations. I'll just use the script utility for now. So you have to define input variable if you're taking something from the inputs. Let's see if we can find it. I use this data pill picker to say I need it from the inputs and it's called your name. That means we should have name here. At the same time the output variable I will call message. And in my code, I'm going to keep it really simple and say that outputs message equals hello plus inputs name. So this should take the input we have here and just build a string saying hello, the name, and it should be passed to the outputs variable called message. Let's go to the outputs and create one. Call this message. And this should also be, uh, I should call this message as well. Ah, for some reason I'm not allowed to, I'll just throw it away. I'll make a new one. Right. 
Now I need to link this one to the value in the script step. So I'll just go back and forth between these two. For some reason, it will give me this one. So the, the variable I just created this message. I can use the data pill picker again and say I need a value from script step now. And the message which came from there. I'll point back to it. So script step message is here in the script step and I defined it here in the output variables which is set the value is set in the script field which is getting the input here from the inputs let's run a test you can click test up here and it, it knows that I'm expecting an input called your name so I'll just write my name Anders and run this one then you can actually click here and see everything that goes in and out so you can see here that I'm testing this my test action and the variable name your name got the value Anders and in the output data the message resulted in hello Anders and the steps was for our example just one script step but if you have several you'll have them listed below each other here and you can see the values as they populate down down the chain so you know that if something is wrong you know you can find out where it went wrong and you can fix it and then you can keep adding actions in uh, in here if you want to click add a new step to add one below or one above between inputs in this script step as well when you're ready, you can just publish it. Let's just do that now. Right. This means that if I now enter the flow designer, I'll just open one of my existing flows here. This one. This is the flow I made and I can add an action here. And I can look for the one we just made. Action. Hello. World. Here it is. The spoke is here. And the action is here. I'll just use this one. Let's add it. There you go. And if you want to add a value coming from your previous spoke, you use the data pill picker. You find the value in the image search in this example and just place it in there and you're good to go. You activate it and your flow is working fine. So that's all for now. I, I plan to create a lot of video content in the future where I also bring in some very talented people in the community and have some live streams as well. So thank you for watching.